feature that a lot of people have been asking about and curious about is the idea of importing and exporting comments from one drawing into another. And there's two ways that are pretty efficient. I would say the first way is much better, but doesn't work for every document. All right, so here's a review set. It's actually a project that happened recently. We had a 99% review and you know, there's like a two to three week review process during the review. You know, I'm still working on the plans. I'm still adding comments in. And you can see here's all my comments that I've actually made after the project has gone out for review. And so I want to, I want to keep using these comments and I want to import other people's comments. As you can see, my project here has, this has 97 pages in it. And so there is actually a way to import comments from another document. However, that uh, document needs to have the exact same number of pages or else you can, you know, add trick, add a couple blank pages in if you need to. But generally speaking, if you have comments that have 30 pages in there, and you try to import the comments, they're going to come in in the wrong spot. So I do have Jason gave me comments and Sabrina gave me comments. You can see Sabrina's comments only 32 pages. Jason's is 97. So it's the exact right. He basically took the entire plan sheet, the entire plan set and just added comments where he wanted to. Sabrina, on the other hand, she exported out only the plan sheets that had comments on them. So if I try to import Sabrina's comments, it's not going to work very well. But I will show you if I uh, come into my comments bar under the markup list, go to markups, import comments, and I can either import them from, uh, you can actually export a specific comment file if you wanted to save some space, or you could actually just click on the file itself and import them straight from there. And now when I come in here, you can see here's some comments from Jason. I'll just go to this page. You can see here's a page where Jason and I both have comments on them. I go back to that filter option I was showing you before. And I just, and just, just turn on Jason's. You can see mine got grayed out. See mine are flipping on and off. And we actually have some of the same comments, which is kind of good. And here I'm graying out Jason's comments, or I'm just showing mine. Now, what do I do about Sabrina's comments? Uh, unfortunately, there's not really a, an easy way to do it without adding in a ton of blank pages, and you end up spending probably more time doing that. And the old way you did this with Acrobat was you could just come into this page. I guess I go to select all edit select all or I just hit control A and then I can go to edit copy or control C. Now I come into this page and I know this is on page 2C2. If I paste these in here and now they're all over the place, this is not that helpful, right? I'm having to drag them and now this is especially annoying. That was the Acrobat way, but there's a new tool in Bluebeam which is called paste in place and it basically just copies them in to the exact spot that someone put them in, saves the X and Y coordinates on each comment. So I find that to be really helpful. Unfortunately, I still have to do this 32 times. It's not going to be save you that much time, but it is one other cool trick, especially if you have comments from just a couple of sheets. I think this is going to be uh, a really helpful uh, thing to, to learn about. All right. So once I have all those comments in here, I can come into my markups list. And if I wanted to export them to an Excel file, I could do that. You just click this little Go to export button. And there's a couple other cool things you can do in here, but I'm not going to get into that today. But if I click CSV, I'm just going to keep, actually this is Sabrina, so I'm going to go to my review set one, and then we'll just create it as an Excel sheet. Pretty easy. And you'll notice I have all the right page labels on here, which I've actually added those in. Those don't come in automatically. So I'm going to show you that next, but you can see here, I've got the date, I got the color. You know, you don't necessarily need all that data. You might want to manipulate which columns you have in here before you export. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. Especially when we're going to have a review set with, you know, seven or eight different people on there, it will all come in with the right author. Now, I don't know if you probably didn't notice this, but when I brought in those comments from Sabrina, they actually, they came in under my name because I'm copying them in. This is C1, again, do the paste in place, and I can just do control. I don't know if you, I guess I didn't say this yet, but there's a lot of shortcuts built in to Bluebeam and they give them to you, get, tell you where they are. You could hit control shift V, you know, like I was showing you before with the markups, you know, there's built in shortcuts for, for a lot of these things already. So you don't necessarily have to make them your shortcuts in your my toolbar, but I'm going to just go here go to paste in place and there they go. However, when I click on it, see it, it came in as P Rudwick. That is one slight flaw with copying in someone else's markups. Whereas the ones I imported from Jason, 
those came in with his his name on them. So I think that's really helpful to know who made the markup. Um, that's a, definitely a, a benefit and a disadvantage of copying in in markups.